Because no, it's because you're, you're paying, paying, yeah, you're paying that respect to. Defend against infantry, right, uh, charge bayonet. Yeah, anybody else come up right, shit. Defend against cavalry, charge bayonet. They're going to salute the colors first. Right. Then they're going to salute the officer. Totally that's today. right. You, you'll be doing the same thing that a bike is right there. That's what I'll do that, actually. Um, either you can say bayonet. But normally an officer or a skipper. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Because you're already going to bayonet. So you know that there is a step by step. Yeah. And then. Come on, skipper. And then what does it push off? Actually, most captains don't like to be called stick or anything. Orders away. 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 We'll be delivering rounds up to the gun, and the gunner here in the center will be given all the commands. Move! Move. Shell 200 yards. Shell 200 yards. All right, you'll see the number two man. He's going to go down the barrel, check for any remnants in the last round. The original flat bags were made of flannel. They'd still be smoldering in there. You'd want to get that out before you put the new bag down, or else the gun would prematurely go off. Now the number one man is wet sponging and dry sponging. And at the same time, the number three man is cutting off any air from going into the vent with the thumb stall. Number five man advance around. is now going to advance the round to the end to the number two man and then load. He will turn its back to the enemy and place the round in the barrel. Number one man rams it home. They'll both go outside of the wheels, which is their safety area. The gunner comes up, takes out a removable uh, sight, places it in the rear sight socket. When he's satisfied, he signals the number three man, takes a vent prick and punches down through the hole into the powder chamber. The number four man places the in the primer. Mm -hmm. That's the primer, that's the hole. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you'll see him turn his body. All right, now he's ready. Light fire! Shell 200 yards! And then it's repeated again and again. This gun right now is only firing one quarter of the amount of powder that they would have fired in each round. Black powder is the same as what you have with fireworks. It burns from end to end. If I put more powder in there, all it's going to do is throw raw powder out. And since we buy all our own powder and supply it, it gets very expensive throwing a lot of unburnt powder out of there. So we can burn approximately half a pound. Dance all around. of that will ignite. And if you can catch it on film at that last microsecond when it goes off, you'll see about a 20-foot flame come out of there. But you'll never see it with the eyes. <laughs> you got that car over there. The best thing to do is when he yells fire, wait about a half a second. Again, the primer is placed in with a nod in the head. The number three man would get back out of the way. Hey, that was more impressive than the first time. That's quite interesting. Shell, 300 yards. Got him on the run. Anybody has any questions? I'd be more than glad to answer them. If I don't know the answers, I'll lie. It's not a book. <laughs> How often could they load and fire? Uh, usually at about the rate of three times a minute, if they were allowed to fire that fast. Normally, if you had four guns together in a four-gun battery, you would fire the first one, and as it's reloading, the second, third, and fourth would fire with the first one being ready to go by the time the fourth one was done. So you'd want to slow it down so you never had all of your guns fired at one time. That was something that was done by the Navy on a ship called a broadside, but on the field with the Army, if you fired all your guns at once, the enemy cavalry would have you before you could reload. Thank you. He's the powder man? He's the powder man, yes. He's number five man. He actually would cut the fuse for how long you wanted that ball to, to be in flight before it went off. You wanted all of the balls, yards. they were only four and a half inches in diameter. 
to explode over top of the enemy and rain down shrapnel. If they did uh, like the Hollywood look and they hit the ground, they were just duds. They would blow up a bit of dirt and that was it. Some people do ask, uh, where are my horses? Actually, I have no horses, but I got a bunch of jackasses. Can I get in front over here? In the, light, in the light artillery, you would always unclip your horses and take them to a safe area uh, while the battle was going on. If your horses were out there and they got killed, you were totally out of action. They, they were very hard to train and in short supply on both sides. Canister, but you were only given two rounds of canister. Oh, canister Light. is a fire! fire! 